my good friend Sally goes on a first date and they meet at a bar. They have a few too many of these. And then he takes her to Taco Bell and then they sleep together. Date two happens. So she got a second date and he is a Trumpy and she is very left and they start f arguing. It goes even further and they argue about pretty much everything. None of their values align, none of them. And guess what happens? She sleeps with him again. Cause she's like, eh, it's familiar, I've done it. Which of course then led to lots of jokes from all of us that all it takes is getting her a chalupa to get her in bed. So that was jokes for the next month, obviously. Why did I tell you this story? Personally, because I really like telling the story about the fact that this guy got laid taking my friend to Taco Bell. Yeah, that's good. Um, and I wanted to go into the topic of why does he keep coming back but won't commit, which isn't fully related to that story, but I just wanted to tell the story, so hope you can bear with me. So why does he keep coming back and, and but won't commit? I want to make this so crystal clear. On average, 97.5%, so almost all the men, make the decision about what they are going to do with you by date two. So around the end of date two, or maybe when he goes home and thinks about it, He's either putting you in the relationship bucket or the friend bucket or the hookup bucket. Why does he do this? Because honestly, he's probably at a certain phase in his life where he's only looking for a certain thing. And what a lot of you are encountering is the guy is looking for sex. And the reason you're encountering this is because the guys that are looking for sex are single. Because the guys that are looking for a relationship go into a relationship, right? Just like the women that want a relationship and are high value women, they get, they get strung up pretty quick. They're in a relationship. It's the single folks that are still dealing with things or in a phase where they're not looking for a relationship that stay single. That makes sense, right? Our dating pool is a lot of folks that aren't quite ready for a relationship for whatever reason. The folks that are in a relationship, a lot of them get together. So with this information, what I want you to do with it is move quickly. If you want a relationship and you're wondering where he's at, ask him pretty quickly. Date five, date six, rock and roll, go for it. See where he's at. If he's not on the same page, move on. And then you don't have to worry about this whole commitment thing because we've got our solution. Uh, let me know if that's helpful. I'm curious. Let me know when you put a date number, what date number would you feel comfortable asking where this is headed? Regardless of how you feel about the person, let's keep that aside for a second. Just what date number? When would you feel comfortable to ask that question? I want to know your opinion. Thank you so much. And Sam, run through the wheel so they get a free gift. Folks, if you want that free gift that Sam randomly selects, go hop in the description and in the comments. It'll be pinned as a top comment. Click and you can get it. And please hit like, hit subscribe if you want more relationship and dating advice from me. <sighs> and if you want to watch more, we've got videos. Boop and boop to watch. See you next time. Bye.